Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Zane and today we'll have a look at Elrond. Elrond is currently sitting at 141 US dollars, 40 cents. The incredible thing is that just within the last three months, Elrond was actually above 538 US dollars. Now I'm confident Elrond can get back to where it was before. The big question is, can Elrond actually do better than $538? And I definitely think they can. Elrond has been a sleeping giant for a very long time. For the last couple of years, Elrond has actually been in doubt within the crypto space. But it wasn't too long ago, back in late 2020, Elrond was actually around $8.08. .08. And sometimes it was actually much lower than that price. So I'm confident that even above $500, Elrond is still undervalued. But this is probably one of the best time to buy Elrond tokens because it's so incredibly cheap compared to where it was within the last three months. And that was based on pure intrinsic value. Because what makes Elrond special is more than just being a blockchain, it's more than just being a dApp building platform. It's incredible what they allow you to do. In fact, as of late, token branding is now available in the Elrond web tool. Add a logo and information for your first ESDT token in the Explorer web wallet and supporting platforms. Projects building on Elrond Network can now convey their brand message to their token holders by adding their token logo and relevant information. The full information will be displayed in the Elrond Explorer. Elrond Explorer now displays the number of token holders and transactions for each token. In addition, the logo will be visible in the Elrond web wallet. This is the Mahar DeFi wallet as well as other applications that choose to integrate this feature. Project owners can now add their website, a short description of their project, as well as links to their social media, white paper, token tracking platform like CoinMarketCap and CoinGecko. Now this is brilliant for Elrond because once again, they're developing their blockchain space, they're making their blockchain space more useful, especially in the eyes of the public, especially for people who want to build on Elrond. Now, obviously, this is not financial advice. Most of this is just uh, public information, but I still have to give you a disclaimer. But how most people are accomplishing this is by creating an Elrond token with advanced vesting mechanism and DeFi components with zero technical knowledge via Unicrypt services. Unicrypt's existing and future services will be adapted to work with the ESD tokens and Elrond smart contracts and their AMM browser will be expanded into the Mayar exchange, allowing users to track tokens and pair on our native decentralized exchange. So there's this initiative, this interface and carefully designed UX and UI design. Unicrypt essentially simplifies the technical complexities of token management. Teams can dedicate more resources to the business aspects of projects, relying on blockchain innovation, which is thus made more accessible to broader range of creators. It's an internet scale blockchain designed from scratch to bring you 1000 fold cumulative improvements in throughput and execution speed. But there is important information in this. To achieve this, Elrond introduced two key innovations, a novel adaptive state sharding mechanism and a secure proof of stake, enabling linear scalability with a fast, efficient and secure consensus mechanism. Thus Elrond can process upwards of 12,000 transactions per second, and Nedger Double costs attempting to become the backbone of permissionless, borderless and global accessible internet economy. Let's assess that for a moment, 15,000 transactions per second. Understand that Ethereum can only complete about 12, 13 transactions per second and Bitcoin is even worse. Bitcoin is like seven to eight transactions per second. Our run is faster, it's secure, it's decentralized. It's everything that you'd want in a blockchain and it allows creators to develop on their platform. What more could you ask for? But the part where a lot of people start crying during this video is when we look back in 2020, even late 2020, this coin was less than $10 per token. Just imagine how much money people could have made if they had invested and waited until the token was above $500. But what I'm here to discuss with you is that the opportunity is still alive. The opportunity is still here. Elrond is extremely undervalued right now. Elrond at its current price, Elrond at its current price is like Bitcoin being at $1,000 per coin. Just imagine that for a moment. Bitcoin at $1,000 per coin. That's basically where Elrond is right now. Still under $3 billion in market cap. Now, sadly, they've lost a lot of market cap because they've fallen a lot in price because of the market crash. 
But honestly, that's a good thing for creators like me because I get to invest at a cheaper price. Now, the good thing in the market is that it's actually out of its consolidating period. It's found its bottom and that was recently around the 24th of January. It found a bottom and now it's found a new ceiling. I'm still expecting Elrond to shoot back up to $200 anytime soon. But honestly, that's going to be quite sad for me because if anything, I want Elrond to fall even more. I want to see Elrond go below $100. But during the last few days, Elrond hasn't been consolidating at all. You can see that for yourself. It's just simply been quite volatile. It's simply been losing a lot of value. But the market is beginning to understand that actually they want to invest right now. And I'll draw these out on screen for you. These are two key areas that the bottom has been found. These are two key areas that the ceiling has been found. It's basically telling you that this token is on an upward trajectory. You can see for yourself, it's on an upward trajectory, it's basically in recovery mode. And that was after the huge fall in the market. That's even compared to the 20th, around the 20th, it was around 185 US dollars. And as you go back even more, you just realize just how much volume Elrond has actually lost. But ultimately, I think this is a good thing. This was around the 29th of December, 28th of December, towards the start of January, around the 5th of January. Then it started to plummet. Now, in additional news, Elrond Foundation acquires crypto payment firm. This merged company planned to combine DeFi with payments in product dub Merchant Yield. Elrond, an Ethereum competitor, taught in throughput orders of 100,000 transactions per second, is acquiring Utrust, a Portuguese-based cryptocurrency payment firm. The terms of the deal were not disclosed. Both platforms have tokens, and the firm said that the combined community will be updated earlier this year. Token holder perspective, allowing online payments to take advantage of Web3, the next generation of internet built around decentralized application, is stated gold of Elrond and Utrust. So once the Utrust payment gateway has been integrated into Elrond, the next step involves offering merchants access to decentralized finance and blockchain-based staking, what's being called merchant yield. Now the platform payment processing service from a cost for a merchant into a income stream, the company said Tuesday, both firms said they welcome a close collaboration with financial regulators. And that's the focus on an initial rollout in Europe. This is great. Basically what's happening right here is that Elrond is building a strong ecosystem, a strong brand. Elrond is starting to realize Elrond knows and they realize that they're more than just an Ethereum competitor. They're competing against Avalanche, Solano, Cordano. But what's really impressive is that Elrond stands a serious chance of not just competing in the DAP building platform, but beating some of the major players right now. And Elrond is building their blockchain and building their ecosystem in many different areas, such as business, a blockchain to elevate your business. It's easy to integrate the blockchain with unprecedented scalability, high speed and low transaction costs. Elrond understands that blockchain will be used in regular everyday business. And Elrond understands that there is a glaring opportunity to embark upon this journey because there is clearly a market space for this exact purpose. And Elrond wants to capitalize on this. And that's exactly what they're doing, but that makes them more unique than other crypto who are more timid to embrace the normal day-to-day -day business associations because they're a crypto blockchain platform that's trying to be decentralization. They're taking a really impressive approach to their cryptocurrency, to their brand, to their platform. Now, here's a question that I have for you. There's a lot of things to go through within the Elrond blockchain and ecosystem. But I need you to tell me, what would you like me to talk about? What would you like me to research within the Elrond ecosystem? Is there something in the white paper that you think is important that I need to discuss on this channel? Let me know. So I'm still bullish on Elrond. I'm still expecting, I'm still expecting Elrond to smash through 500. In fact, 600 because Elrond has already hit the 500 mark and it did that quite easily. And I'm expecting Elrond to now cross the 600 mark and that will happen sometime this year. That's what we're targeting, 600. We're no longer targeting 500 because 500, 600, 700, it's still undervalued for Elrond. Realistically, Elrond price should be around 1,000. I'm just saying it's undervalued and you may want to take a look into that for yourself to understand this. The optimal approach to blockchain sharding needs to take into consideration advantage from three sharding type, state, transaction, and network. Elrond approach to increase the throughput call adaptive state sharding. 
combine all three shard and type into a simple solution that improves communication inside the shard and dramatically increase the performance throughout parallel processes. Should I discuss the comparison between Elrond, Ethereum, and Elrond and Algoron, and Elrond and Solana as well, because these are all competitors. So thank you for watching, subscribe to see more, leave a like. If I missed anything, let's have a discussion, and I will see you within my next video.